Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to use map charts both in Excel and Google Sheets. So I've downloaded this, this data that shows subway locations by, by country from the subway website here. And what I wanna do is map these out on, on a chart. So I'm gonna to go to insert chart. By default, it goes to the pie chart. But what I'm gonna switch over to is one of these maps. So this is a, a geo chart with marker with markers, and this is just a geo chart. So I'm going to select the one with markers, and you can see here it shows different circles. So the U.S. has the largest number of restaurants with 20,807, and these other ones are obviously much smaller than that. This isn't terribly helpful. I mean, this just shows me a whole lot of dots on here, so it's not one that I'd find terribly useful. The one I prefer is using the one with the with the country values filled in. Now again, this one isn't going to be uh, all that helpful right off the bat, just because I've got red, I've got orange and, and green. It's not i not ideal here um, to use these colors. So I can go to the geo section here for under customize, and I can select a, a min, mid. And a max. So for the max, I could use some like a really dark green for the min, maybe something really light green, and then the mid, something in in the middle. But now, the one problem with this data though is it's so heavily skewed to the U.S. that everything else is going to look really small. So what I'm going to do, just for the sake of this, is I'm going to get rid of the United States out of here, um, just because it's really making that data really skewed. Now it's a, now it's a bit easy. Now we can see more variations in color. And so this is really what you're what you're hoping for. So the dark green now the largest one is is Canada at just under 3000 um, locations. You know, you've got Brazil looks fairly dark at 1600, Australia at 1200, UK also looks fairly dark at, at 2200. So now you can start to see a bit more of the distinctions before the problem was that there was such a huge range in the those values that the US was looking really dark and everything else was really really light in comparison. So one thing to consider when you're um, working with, with with these sort of types of charts. And so the the cool thing about um, about this, you know, you can customize this however you want. You can uh, zero in on let's say Europe. You can select North America, you can select whatever parts of the world um, you want to just to just to sort of zoom in so if you only want to look at a certain part of the world you can do that and you can also by default see the whole world as well so and, and of course you hover over you'll see the different values so again this is a bit a uh, bit more useful i find than than using these circles which you know especially for a lot of the smaller ones they look pretty pretty similar so Having the map filled in, I, I find, is a bit more useful in that sense. And here you've got the scale, so you can exactly see the, the lowest value and the largest value at 29.36. So that's a quick way um, to create map charts in Google Sheets. What I'm going to do now is copy this data and do the same thing in Microsoft Excel. So in Excel, what I'm going to do is just Control v and you'll notice these, these borders because it's been copied over from Google Sheets, but it doesn't really matter. It's going to work just as well. So again, I'll go to the insert um, option. If I open this up, by default, it knows the recommended chart is probably uh, a filled map, which is what I want. So I hit OK. And now we've got the same sort of looking map chart with different colors. Obviously, we can we can change this as well. You've got uh, series colors. So by default, it's got two colors. I can select three. So again, I can select uh, maybe a light green for the lowest and a dark green for the darkest. So it starts to look a whole lot similar to what we had on Google Sheets. So uh, a similar type of effect really comes down to, to preference. I prefer the Google Sheets one. It's easier to use. It doesn't have this powered by Bing message down here. And so another cool thing I'll show you is if you go under the 3D map chart, you can open 3D maps. And this opens on another page for me. So now the cool thing is you can have a 3D 
look at this in terms of what you want to look at. So we've got uh, same sort of data, but just in a 3D view. So if you had something really specific where you've got different cities within these countries, then you know you could potentially zoom in on here and see those different values and those, those different uh, different components. There's a, there's different charts here. You can use a stack column chart, which I don't think really makes a whole lot of sense, but you can see them sort of popping out at you. You've got uh, clustered ones, which again is, is not going to be different in this in this case because again we've only got one value per per country, only one. Um, we just got number of restaurants. You've got again going back to the circles. You've got a bit of a heat map here as well, and this is the the filled in one that um, I, I think is probably a bit more useful. So a lot of cool things that you can do with the maps. It's really going to come down to um, how how well labeled your your data is. For example, there's a country that's called Georgia, could potentially overlap with the, with the state in the United States. So it comes down to, you know, how well sorted your your data is. Um, if it's just just countries, then it's going to work uh, for the most part. It should work pretty well. But just the thing to to look out for that if you know you've got uh, countries and cities, then you want to be consistent and have all that listed to give give Bing or Google Sheets as much info as you can just to make sure that it's um, um, pulling in data to the right uh, location. So the 3D maps chart looks really similar to the, the 2D one. The difference is, again, really, this is really just more of a novelty. And if you wanted to really zoom in, like if you had different territories, different provinces, different states, whatever the case may be, you know, you could potentially zoom in and see different values. But you know, here we've got France, 378. We didn't specify any sort of cities, so it just shows the entire one. So just wanted to show you uh, a couple different ways of how you create map charts in Google Sheets and uh, Microsoft Excel. So hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.